Everybody hear me? Is this good? Good? Okay. How's everybody doing tonight? Welcome to the show that the IRS killed. My name is Ben Verbeck. I am your comedy act for the evening. Um, so, I am one of uh, three acts who are here tonight that were supposed to be here to begin with. I have no idea what happened to sepsis. I, I really don't know. Um, yeah. Innards, uh, I guess like Moses had severe gut rot or something and he thought he was going to die. Yeah. And I also have no idea what happened to Bast. Like, who knows why they're not here. Anybody? <laughs> Anybody have any like concrete reason why Bast isn't here? Please let me know. I'm very interested. <laughs> uh, so yes, uh, I am wearing a shirt with my face on it. Let's uh, get that out of the way right now. Uh, I have these shirts for sale, and I, uh, I, it was kind of in the air whether or not I was going to wear any of the, one of these shirts at all. But then I thought about it, and uh, it's worked for the WWF for so long, like uh, you know, wrestlers wearing their own shirts. So I figure, you know. It's gonna work for Vince McMahon. God damn it, it's gonna work for me. Thank you. <laughs> um, so everybody excited for 420 tomorrow? Anybody? Anybody? Yeah, I'm really excited to uh, celebrate the 12th anniversary of Columbine myself. You know, uh, Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold, they were uh, true visionaries. I've often thought that if I was to ever uh, commit suicide, that I, I, I want to do it in a way that's going to make an impact, you know? Like, I, I'm not just going to hang myself or jump off a bridge or... Uh, what was that? I'm not just going to hang myself or jump off a bridge or, you know, shoot myself in the face or anything like that. I've decided that if I'm going to kill myself, I'm going to go skydiving. And I'm not going to pull the chute. And not only that, I'm going to uh, take some Ipecac, some Viagra, and an enema, and I'm going to completely disrobe on my way down. And I'm going to puke, shit, and cum in the air. I'm going to dive straight down, and uh, you know my head's going to burst on impact, no chance for survival. And the best part's going to be as my uh, glorious soul is ascending into heaven, I'll be able to watch all the people coming around to help me and uh, watch them get covered in my puke, shit, and cum. And I'm going to laugh at them. Thank you. Uh, so, um, yeah, so there's this like NFL lockout, and uh, I, I'm going to be pissed if there's not an NFL season this year because... I, I'm a big Bills fan. Not only that, I, I just love tailgating, you know? Uh, because tailgating is uh, my chance to get away with murder. See, uh, people who tailgate at the Ralph love to eat, and they don't really care what they're eating, just as long as you tell them that it's something that they're comfortable with. You know, like I'll, I'll say, hey, I got these hamburgers here. Little do they know that I just like took somebody I killed from Hamburg process them through my meat grinder, and, you know, that's what I'm serving them. You know, I tell them, I got, hey, I got this ground chuck over here, some guy named Charlie I killed. You know, 500 pounds of sloppy joes, just some two fat dudes who I killed, fucking shove them through my meat grinder, put some manwich in there, and nobody knows the difference. People are fucking shitting out other people outside of the Ralph inside. And uh, nobody is the wiser. Don't tell anybody if like somebody goes disappearing. Like you didn't hear this from me. Um. Uh, so I have a I have a four year old daughter, and uh, I'm I'm really concerned about like uh, teaching her sex ed, because I I really don't you know I really don't understand like female parts you know. Like, uh, I, I guess, you know, uh, I mean, ma male and female parts aren't that different from one another. Like, you know, men have penises, or uh, is it peni? I don't really know. Like, I, I try not to think about multiple cocks. And uh, women have, like, itty-bitty clitties. 
Um, men have like testicles, which in women are like up here, and they're called ovaries. And uh, the testicles are housed in uh, in a scrotum. And uh, the best way I can describe this is like think of the uterus as like this really really big outside in nutsack. So that's. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, but you know, I also don't understand like vaginal cleanliness. You know, like I, I, you know, I have to wipe my daughter's vagina, and like I don't want to wipe too hard because I don't want her to like it. But you know, I want to get her clean. You know, I just don't understand what I need to do to get it clean without it being like, you know, bordering on molestation. I, I don't need that. So I, I just, I don't know anything about vaginal cleanliness, you know. Uh, I, all I know is that if it, uh, if it smells bad, that's what, that's what condoms and nose plugs are for, you know. But uh, condoms only do so much, you know. Like uh, they, they don't cover, they don't cover the balls. And if you're not going balls deep, you're not doing the job. So what I'm, uh, what I'm in the process of doing is inventing these things called fuck flaps, which are basically like mud flaps that go over your dick. And uh, they come in two, uh, they're gonna come in like two great styles, you know, like the classic naked woman silhouette. And also there's gonna be a Yosemite Sam with the guns, but instead of saying fuck off, it's gonna say come on. So uh, look for those, you know, wherever, that will be sold. <laughs> so, um, I don't, I, I really don't like the, uh, the um, stereotype of black people eating chicken. Not that it's like an invalid stereotype, but who the fuck doesn't like chicken? Chicken's awesome, you know? Well, that dude's not black, I guess. Um, no, but it's like, you know, it's like saying Asian people like video games. Who doesn't love video games? White people love smartphones. Who fucking doesn't? It's like saying priests love altar boys. Everybody loves altar boys. They're so nice. They're incense and... Thank you. <laughs> um, I also, I also, um, I don't understand why, um, why comics go so hard on Republicans and Christians, you know? Are Republicans and Christians dumb enough to be made fun of? Absolutely. But so are Democrats, Muslims, Jews, Scientologists, and anyone who believes that a politician or a deity is going to make their lives better. Thank you. <laughs> this is great. Uh, <laughs> I don't know that one. How's it go? Um, so I often, I oftentimes wish I was a female, because um, I mean, automatically, like my comedy act becomes funnier without me having to change a single word. Um, I would also be able to go out to the bar and have dudes buy me booze without telling them that I was a raging dyke, and like I wouldn't have to feel bad about it. Um, I'd be able to, I would carry mace on me all the time and spray any motherfucker who like even made me think twice about it. I mean, who's the cop gonna believe? The douchebag in the Abercrombie and Fitch polo or uh, the hot chick with the, the nice rack, you know? Uh, <laughs> uh, I, would, I would buy booty shorts that said, while you were reading this, I farted. Still turned on. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, so the human mind is a very powerful thing, and uh, ideas have power, and uh, beliefs are even more powerful. And this is something that organized religions have been capitalizing on for hundreds, if not thousands, of years. The more people who believe in a god, the more powerful that god becomes. If the bulk of people in Buffalo believed in Greek gods and goddesses, well then, fellas, when you were uh, 
at last call, going outside for that last smoke, that last option looking back at you would appear to be none other than Aphrodite, who sees in you her male counterpart in Eros. With a, with a slight change in belief and perspective, your sloppy drunk sex can feel like uh, you just moved Mount, Olymp Mount Olympus with your pelvis. Reality is all in the mind, and it is as shitty or as incredible as you want it to be. Thank you. <coughs> no, seriously, thank you so much. Um, well, I don't have any grind, grind jokes for you. Uh, I know this is like a grind show, but I don't. I'm not really a fast talker or anything, so um, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I'm I'm gonna end uh, I'm gonna end this. Uh, on this, so uh, I grew up in a military family, and I, I grew up all over the country. And uh, one of the places I grew up was in Kentucky. And uh, I had a girlfriend down there, and uh, I was 12, she was 14, and uh, that's who I lost my virginity to. And it was it was really great, you know. We would uh, we would go out and fuck all the time, you know, uh, like gym class, lunch break, you know, study hall, we just go out and uh, break into her older sister's car with a, with a wire coat hanger and uh, we'd go in there and fuck all period long, it was awesome. Until about two months, two months pass and uh, she tells me that she was late and I was like, well, I can't have this, so um, I did the only thing I could do, which was catch fish and sell them to try to save up for an abortion. And uh, I wasn't very good at fishing, so, uh, you know, a few more months pass by, and, uh, you know, she's starting to show, and I'm still a couple hundred bucks short of this abortion. So, uh, she comes out fishing with me one of these times, and uh, she sits up and she's like, Ben, you know what, why don't we just do this ourselves? I'm like, do what? She's like, the abortion. Let's just do it. I'm like, uh, okay, well, how, how do you suppose we do that? She's like, well, you've gotten really good into breaking into my sister's car with a wire coat hanger. It's pretty much the same thing. And uh, I really did not want to do it, but, uh, you know, I didn't want to have a kid who was graduating high school by the time I turned 30. So I was like, fuck it, let's give it a shot. And uh, it really, really was a lot like breaking into a car. Uh, I couldn't see anything. I kept looking around to see if there were if there were cops, but um, I finally got that motherfucker and uh, I pulled it out and uh, you know, I, I'm just looking at it and like she's just bleeding into the fucking lake and I see these, uh, I see these minnows going after her blood like, you know, these little piranhas. So it gave me an idea and I took, I took the uh, dead fetus off of the wire coat hanger, put it onto my fishing hook and fucking cast it in into the lake. And sure enough, as soon as it hit the water, this fucking 14 pound largemouth just jumps up and slaps the shit out of it. She's like crying like, Ben, help me. And I'm like, shut up, bitch, fish on. And uh, after about like 15 minutes of uh, struggling with it, I finally landed that fish. And from that day forward, I decided that not only was I going to be pro-choice, but that I would be Bass Pro Choice. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really, I really do appreciate it. Um, now, uh, everybody, here is Worthless.